no one expected anything like what happened in the first inning. 42 pitches and four runs. But after that, we did see what we expected out of you, Darvish. 68 pitches only needed after that first inning. So Darvish with the win. Strong effort by the bullpen again. And uh, the Rangers get the first of this four-game series uh, in very interesting fashion, Dan. It's like you have a bigger crowd there than we have in all of uh, Oriole Park Camden Yards at the moment. But it's been drizzly. And last night really was a continuation of what has gone on for some time now in this series. 14-3. Uh, had to feel somewhat familiar for the Orioles. So look at the last 10 road starts, a 6-1 and one record of 356 earned run average and an impressive walk-strikeout uh, ratio in those 60 and two-thirds. So a win for Colby, an awful lot of offensive support, and uh, back here tomorrow to see if the Rangers can uh, close off uh, with uh, a record-setting performance. And Ron Washington says while the Rangers are trained to not nail down the home field advantage in the divisional series, no member of the bullpen will rest if called on to nail down another win. Look for Wahara, Adams, and Feliz, as was uh, the case again last night. And again, first inning, first pitch from Jake Arrieta. Two-run blast after a walk to Elvis Andrews. Third inning, 2-0 pitch after a bunt single by Andrews. And in the seventh, 0-1 from Zach Phillips over the leap of Adam Jones to straightaway center, the last player to have four homers in a game, Carlos Delgado, 2003. There are no days allowed only one home run this year. That's that pitch up and past Josh. Six RBIs, a career high for Josh Hamilton. Watch out. This explosion again after he was the last Ranger to get a hit last night in the ninth inning, a two-run homer. So his last five at-bats covered. 18 total bases. And eight runs batted in. How about another? To center field, number four, Josh Hamilton on an unstoppable tear in Baltimore. Got a standing ovation from the Oriole crowd, too. This is like the home run derby in Yankee Stadium. On that last one, was it too much of a line drive, but it had enough lift for him to become the 16th player all time with a four home run game and set the league record with 18 total bases. That was absolutely the case, Emily, and uh, not surprising because uh, these fans realized that they were watching history and uh, it's definitely worth reliving, which we'll get a chance to do here. And Neftali Feliz getting the start tonight. Could not command his fastball last time out in Toronto. But if you look at his very small body of work so far as a starter, he has started out well, and then second, third time through the order has been uh, an issue. That those trends, both for the Rangers and against the Orioles, continue tonight here in Game 2 of this series. Emily? Napoli sends that one high and deep. And a leap by Wells. He can't bring it down. Number 27, a new career high for the former Angel. Then came in. He gave up that infield single to Murphy. And then didn't allow anything. He struck out Moreland. Got Kinsler to ground into a double play. Got three ground outs in the sixth. Another towering shot. Same area. Same result. Napoli goes deep again.